A golden arm, a silver bat, and the wisdom of a gray-haired skipper have put the Detroit Tigers in the World Series for the second time since 2006. But for a city that adores its big baseball cats, first place still seems many seasons away. Appreciate you, sir. Mm -hmm. Thanks, man. The Tigers, you know, the, the actual players, they're not just representing themselves and the organization, they're actually representing the city and people in it that, that need something right now, that need something to to get them going, to get them motivated, to get the city jumping again. Have them, you know, everybody needs something to feel proud about. Detroit has lost a quarter million residents in the past decade. Public finances are a mess, murders are up, and a powerful hospital executive says he's considering a run for mayor because he senses hopelessness. Across the city, though, at places like the C-Spot Barbershop, the talk is not about rising unemployment, city hall squabbles, and unchecked violence. It's about batting averages, and pitching changes. Everything is worse than it was in 2006, so the diversion is actually a lot, I think, um, more and a lot better this year than it, than it was in 2006 because, like I said, things weren't so bad then, but it's like we're hungry for something to smile and laugh about and you know cheer about for the city of Detroit. So I think we are enjoying this more now than we were then. Here at the C-Spot, Tiger's fever, unfortunately, is only a temporary condition unlike the fight for survival that its customers and employees view daily through the shop's security bars and weather-streaked windows. This last week, couple weeks ago, maybe it was four or five guys stomping and beating an older gentleman right in front of the church down the street. And so I think that something as, as minute as sports, just such a small thing in life, is something that we look forward to. Still, Detroit's Boys of Summer will give this hard luck city a much needed diversion for at least one glorious autumn week. All you ever hear about is the negative things about Detroit and we need something positive to focus on. Mike Householder, The Associated Press, Detroit.